Are you really ready? If you need to rest or anything, we can still... You won't have another chance until we... I'm ready. Glad to hear it. We're going to attack on two fronts. The North Gate and the West Wall, which will scale with... The attack will be split into different stages. Taking the outer walls, the inner bailey, and finally the core of the castle and the tower. How are we going to attack the gate? We'll try to do as much damage as we can with the trebuchet first. Kieser claims he Even if that's true, we'll have to charge through a downpour of enemy... Portcullis? Fortunately, it's wooden, so we'll be able to break it down. But dealing with the defense in the bailey won't be easy. And what's the plan for attacking the west wall? First, we have to get men to the wall with ladders. Which is no easy matter under fire. So we'll need as many men covering them. As soon as the ladders are in place, our foot soldiers will run up. Once a few of them get... How will we take the battlements? Either by scaling the west... And the inner bailey? That will be tough. Even if we get through... The castle is designed so we'll be like hens in a coop. To anyone with a bow on the inner... We'll have to either fight... What about the living court? There, I'm worried most about the hostages. Once we're inside, Istvan will know defeat is inevitable. But we'll still have... I think I've heard everything. Do you want to join the attack on the walls or on the gate? Remember, many of the Scalot's men will follow you. It could make a big difference. I'll help with the attack on the walls. I'm proud of you, Henry. You've changed from an insolent pup into a tough... And as God is my witness, we will kick those... A village lad and an old soldier? <laughs> this man must be shaking in his boots. <laughs> if he's not shaking. Just one last thing, though. No matter how good the plan is, keep your eyes open and take advantage of every chance. Help your comrades. We have to take the castle gradually. One position. I'll remember that. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. See you later. Mm-hmm. 
Sir, we should give the order. Let's see if Istvan Toth can worm his way out of this one. Don't tempt fate, Hanush. Istvan! It's over! You want us to come and get you? I wouldn't advise that. Your friend Divish wants to see his wife alive again. And Sir Radzik? Are both hostages unharmed? For now, Hanush, unless circumstances change. Well, I'm glad to hear it. My guest is also safe and sound, but he's also quite keen to go home. I imagine you feel the same way. It's been a long time since you warmed yourself at your own hearth. I'm in no hurry. I've plenty of supplies here. Grand view and excellent company. What more could I want? Your freedom! Freedom? Freedom to get an arrow in the back? Sir, you're all noblemen here. All bound by honour. I give you my word as a knight and lord. And that of my companions. If you release Lady Stephanie and Sir Radzig, you may leave the castle with your men and go on your way unharmed. And just how far will we get? What good will it do me if your men attack us in the woods instead of here? If you give me your word of honour that you will leave and never return, I promise you safe passage to the boundary of this fiefdom. What happens after that is up to you, and the will of God Almighty. Very well then, but I want a small safeguard. I'll give you her ladyship, but Radzig comes with me. I'll release him in scullets. Out of the question! Is our word not good enough for you? Is mine not good enough for you? I swear I'll release him when I get to a safe distance. I'll go with him, Hanush. Let the Lady Stephanie have her freedom now. Father! Don't worry, son. I trust Lord Toth's self-interest more than his word. He wouldn't be fool enough to harm me. If you're certain, Radzig. Prepare horses and supplies and tell your men to pull back. We'll come down. You heard him. Get to work. And any man who breaks his truce answers to me. So are you really going to let them go? My word is my bond, Henry. He's a cutthroat and a liar. Good men are dead because of him. What's to stop us from skewering him as soon as he sets foot outside? Our honour! If you let him go, he'll do the same again. Or worse, God's justice will find him. And then, he'll get a taste of my mace. If we break our word of honour, we have none. And without honour, we are nothing. Never fear. Your father will be all right. We'll hunt down those vermin yet. Bring the horses. Here she is, as I promised. Not a hair on her head harmed. Divish. <laughs> Stephanie. Forgive me, husband. I'm sorry. For what? For letting them into the castle. Oh, come now, my dear. You're not to blame. I didn't know who he was. He said he was your friend. Never mind. Did he hurt you? No. I hope your word can be trusted. Certainly more than yours. If everything goes as agreed, I'll set Radzig free in Scalitz. If anyone tries to follow us, I'll kill him. We won't. My apologies for keeping you from your father, but you'll see each other soon enough. Oh, I almost forgot. Your sword. I expect you'll want it back after all the trouble you went to. Actually, you know what? I think I'll keep it, as a memento. This isn't over. I'll find you. I look forward to it. Yeah!
quick to the battlements. We have to see which way they go. Oh, they really are heading for Scalitz. Mount up, Henry. You've heard what he'll do if we follow them. We're not going to follow them. We just have to collect your father. Or do you want him to walk back here when they're releasing me? 